Yeah, look, he was very traumatised when I first got to him and uh, yeah, visibly upset. So it was important for me once I got hold of him to calm him down so it was a little easier to manage as we were uh, putting him back up for the human chain to get him back into the elevator. But he was definitely distressed, but he calmed down very quickly once we had hold of him. And could you see that his legs were dangling in the air? I could, as I got there, I, I could actually see that one hand was holding on to the lift uh, door rail, the other hand was uh, with his father. So, yeah, I could actually see his feet dangling, and it was a fair drop off too. So, yeah. Gosh, and his little body was it getting, was it literally stretched? I mean, as Laura asked, can you describe what was he just? Like yeah, he, he was hanging uh, with his arms sort of in that configuration with uh, one arm holding onto the scaffold and the other arm in with his dad. So, yeah, he was dangling and uh, very tense when I found him, so he looked like he was hanging on the wall. Yeah. And you also mentioned inside that the lift was trying to right itself the whole time and you were fighting against it going up and dad going up and the boy going down. Can you explain that again? When I first got on top of the lift, uh, there were some noises from the lift trying to move. The doors were forced open, so there shouldn't have been any risk of it actually moving. But just in case, uh, our normal training is to isolate any electrical equipment. So when I got on top of it, I isolated the lift to ensure that it didn't 